Hello everyone, this video is to share with you how to perform a withdrawal with HyperFund. Once you first log in, you're going to click over here, bottom right account. We are on the account page. Once you click there, you're gonna come here to rewards. Remember, in order to, re to withdraw your rewards, you have to have a minimum of 50 HU. HU is equivalent to a dollar. So 50 HU is also $50. So this is 1,134 HU. It's also equivalent to $1,134. Okay, so first things first, to do a withdrawal, you're gonna come here to transfer. Click on transfer. System has to refresh, I'm guessing. All right, slight delay there. Once you click on transfer, it automatically goes to transfer to member, but we want to come here to transfer to other account. Then it has financial. You're going to come here, type in the amount you want to withdraw. If you wanted to withdraw everything, you would put all. But in this case, I just want to withdraw 1,000, I mean, 134, because I'm going to do a rebuy with the 1,000. Okay, so 134, confirm. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you won't see my transaction password. And take care of that. Share my screen again. Okay, there you go. Transfer successful. You can go to transfer record. It keeps track of everything you've done. So that's 134. The day before, I did a withdrawal for 1,113. Then I need another withdrawal for 3,302. So it keeps the record of all your withdrawals. Then you come back out. Oh, let's get out of here back to home to the account page. So now instead of it being 1,134, the 134 has moved to financial. The next step, you wanna click on exchange. Here in exchange, we're gonna go ahead and put in the amount, 134. In this case, just click on all in. It's gonna put the 134. It's going to convert it to MOF. That stands for molecular future. That is our token, the company's token it is listed on the Who Exchange and Bittrex. So you can withdraw it to either one of those wallets, Who or Bittrex. And we're gonna withdraw it to the Who. Transaction password. Okay, exchange. All right, it says successful. You can take a look at the records again. It shows you now the 134. It's 860 in HU. Remember, HU is about 15 cents. Okay, and right here, 15 cents. I'm gonna go back. So now it's no longer in financial. Now the last step, we're gonna click on withdrawal. Once you do a withdrawal, it's asking for the amount. I'm gonna click on all. Transaction password again. And it says get email verification. Remember, it's going to give you 60 seconds to get the verification code. So be ready to do so. Please input address. Oh, forgot one major step. Your address, where you want to send it to. So now you have to go to your Who wallet and copy your MOF address because keep in mind in crypto world, BTC can only go to a BTC address. MOF can only go to an MOF address. USDT can only go to a USDT address. So in this case, because I am withdrawing MOF, I need to go and locate my MOF address. So what you want to do is go to your WHO. Hopefully you guys have registered for your WHO wallet. This is what the WHO looks like. Get your referral link from your sponsor. Then you come here to My Assets. Once you come to my assets, you're going to search for MOF. I'm going to click here. I'm going to search for MOF because that is the address that I'm looking for. Once I search MOF, it's going to provide me with the address over here. You see right here? It says right now I have about $1,100 in MOF sitting. 
Uh, but I want this address, so now I'm going to copy it. Keep in mind, always pay attention to the last four characters and the first couple of characters to make sure you are pasting the correct address because once you send it, it's gone. There's no reversals in the crypto world. Okay, so that is F09E. Let's go back to withdrawal. And you're going to, you see right here, recipient's address. That's what it's asking for, your MOF address. So now you, you would click on this plus sign to paste your address. So I'll let me do that right now. And you would paste that address right there, paste, and then hit next. All right, okay. So I have it here twice. So I'm gonna select, and now the address is right here. Now I can hit get email verification. And you have 60 seconds. Clock is counting down. Uh, please tell me I still have my email up. Yes, I do. Here we go. Email verification 370 Your request has been su submitted successfully. Here's the withdrawal. Okay, ladies and gents, you see right now it's pending for approval. This takes about 24 to 48 hours. So this is great. These are all the other ones that were drawn. It, has, it says success. This one says pending for appro approval. It typically takes 24 to 48 hours. So because I already have some MOF in my Who wallet, I will show you all the last step. So now we're back to Who. When you come to your Who wallet, this is the main page. I want you to see what it looks like. You have to come here to Assets. Click on My Assets. Once you're in my assets, we want to search for MOF, MOF. So as you can see, I do have some MOF that was transferred over. 7,000 MOF is equivalent to 1,126 USDT. Keep in mind, this shows you the numbers in USDT. However, you can change it. If yours defaults to BTC, right here, so if I click on BTC, it will show me what it is in BTC. So if you ever notice that yours is showing in BTC, feel free to come here and change it. Just click on it, hover on it, and select USDT. Now it's back to USDT equivalency. Okay, what is the next step? Once you have your MOF in the Who wallet, the only way we can convert it now is to USDT. Then once we convert it to USDT, at that point, you can send it to any other wallet that you own, or you can convert it to Bitcoin right here in the Who Exchange, convert it to Ethereum, whatever you like. So right now, we're going to go ahead and convert this to USDT. Okay, first things first, everything is in balance right now. So in order to convert this over, we have to take it onto the exchange. So we're going to move everything to the spot account. How do we do that? While we're in balance, I'm going to come over here and you see right here, asset transfer, click on asset transfer. It already pre-fills this in for me. We want to transfer to spot account. This is the spot account. This is where we want to transfer it to. I'm going to say transfer all and scroll down and hit submit. Okay, it says it's been transferred. So now let's triple check. I'm going to come here to spot account. I see it right here in the spot account. We are in spot. So it shows it right here, 1,130. It went up a little bit. So it's in the spot account, ladies and gents. Next step, we're gonna go into spot trading. We're gonna go into the exchange. So I just clicked on spot trading. Do not be alarmed. Do not be afraid when you're looking at these charts. It is okay for those individuals that like to trade, you're gonna fall in love with this. For those of us who don't know how to trade, just follow my steps and you'll be just fine. Come here to the search bar. And what are we searching for? MOF. So I typed in MOF. Do you guys see this pair right here? They call it a pair because you see two cryptos. So they have MOF and USDT. The reason we cannot convert MOF to BTC is because they do not have a pair that exists. The only pair that exists right now for MOF 
is MOF2 USDT. That's, this is the reason why. Now I'm gonna click on it. It should change and now it's reflecting MOF to USDT here. So now what you wanna do is scroll down. In this case, ladies and gents, we have MOF. So here's your MOF and then here is USDT. So remember, once we sell the MOF, it's going to give us USDT. That's what a pair is doing. So we're swapping it out, but on the exchange, we call it sell, right? We sell and it's gonna give us USDT. It moves pretty fast. So I'm gonna come here. If you know how to trade, you get to play around with the numbers. This is for the people who just wanna get their money out and go. So you come here, select one, the first one here in green, and you can select any one of them, it doesn't matter. And then you come here, make sure you select 100%. It's telling you right here that the total you're gonna get back is 1,126 from the 1,130 that we had. So I'm gonna hit sell MOF. It says order has been placed. It's down here. It's showing me what is being filled. As this is being filled, ladies and gents, the numbers are changing right here. Watch the numbers change right up here. You can see it changing. It's filling it up right now. And keep in mind, when it comes to crypto, you have to learn patience. Do not rush. Do not rush anything when it comes to crypto. Because when you make a mistake or you send it to the wrong place, there is no customer service to help you once you have sent that crypto off. Okay, you see it disappeared. It is gone. So 1130 cost me about $5. Wasn't too shabby. Remember, it's always fees in crypto. These are right here showing you what I have sold in the past. It keeps a record of it. Now, ladies and gents, we're gonna go back to assets. So I'm gonna click on my asset. There we go. We are here. We have to come back to the spot account because that's where we transferred it to. So I'm gonna click on spot account. And now it's no longer an MOF, as you can see, it is now in USDT. So now, ladies and gents, if I wanted to convert this over to Bitcoin, all you would have to do is come here to spot trading, go back to spot trading, since it's still in spot trading, come here and search, you would search BTC. Now look at BTC, you see there's a pair, BTC to USDT. It doesn't matter if the BTC is in front of it and USDT is late. It doesn't matter. The pair, it's the pair. So I'm going to click on it. And it was same thing. You'll come down here. It says BTC. So same thing is going to take place. Uh, right here, we have available USDT. So in this case, we're going to start with the green because what are we doing? We are buying BTC. We're not selling BTC. We want to have BTC. So you're, you're here, available USDT is 1,125. So once I, the steps would be this, I would come here, I would select the first one here in green. Again, you can select any one you want, but this is the way I learned. So this is the way I'm showing our one, two, three step, okay? <laughs> so you select this first one, you click on it, then you click on 100%. And then you buy BTC. And that's it, ladies and gents, you have some BTC. And I hope this video helps. One last thing, let me show you how to convert it back over. Come here to my asset. Okay. Now, ladies and gents, it's still in spot account. So because it's in spot account, what do we need to do? We need to transfer it back to balance. And I'll explain to you why we want to transfer it back to balance. Because in the spot account, you cannot send anywhere. It's just sitting here. You only have two options, asset transfer history. But once you transfer it to balance, you'll see you have several options. So it's already defaulted to balance. I'm going to say transfer all. And I'm going to hit submit. OK. Perfect, that's it. So now it's gone, it's no longer in spot account. I'm gonna click on balance. And we're gonna search for it, USDT. And there it is. I have about 12,000 in USDT city. Perfect.
Again, why do we transfer to balance? Because once you're in balance, there's several things you can do. You can withdraw it, meaning you can send it to wherever you want to send it to. And there's your history. The deposit gives you a deposit address. So if someone wanted to send you USDT, this is the address you would copy and send to that individual. They were going to send it to you, but make sure you select ERC20 because that's a different address. It automatically defaulted to O-N-N-E. That's a different address. But if you select ERC20, you'll notice that's a different address and that's the one that we use. And we also use TRC20. That starts with a T and this one starts, ERC starts with a zero. Okay, I hope this video was informative and I will see you all on the next video. Thank you.